So about five weeks ago, I posted on LinkedIn about my first class with UT's data analytics and the visualization program. And here is my five weeks review. So let's talk about the class format and the material covered. First of all, I have to tell you the class is intensive. For three hours each time, the class went through a whole bunch of uh, uh, materials very quickly. And then uh, you only have a uh, you know, limited time to work on them, to uh, absorb them. So often when I leave the classroom, I'm feeling somewhat overwhelmed, feeling like I barely keep up, or maybe I just miss a few. So I have that urge, and, you know, instead of just sitting on it, I need to go home to review the video and then the material right away so that I can understand it. The good thing is, uh, first of all, the material is very relevant to today's uh, data analytical world. Uh, Python, for instance, is one of the most used tools by data scientists uh, today, and this class covers extensive of it. And uh, I learned Python, you know, in the last five years, but I felt like in the last five weeks, I learned more Python than last five years combined. And I feel uh, much more confident today to use Python in my work than, uh, than ever before. So that's the good thing of it. And the TAs and the teachers are very helpful. They are, you know, always available. They're walking around the classroom, helping students or groups to uh, solve their problems if they get stuck. And I, I like the fact that they try to treat you like a, um, you know, like a working environment where they don't try to just spoon fed you with the answer. Instead, they, they, they want to see you how to think through the program, the problem, the challenge. And then they try to give you that general direction of, you know, what way to go, try to find the solution. Often you have to find the solution yourself by looking up, you know, Stack Overflow or whatever to see what other people or documentations to see what other people came up with. We're talking among your peers and maybe they have some ideas. But in general, they're not just trying to teach you a language, but a total methodology, how to use the method, uh, how to use the, uh, the techniques and the language to solve a practical problem. So let's talk about the level of support. The first tier of support is your instructor and your TAs. They are excellent uh, supports because they are experts in the data science fields and they uh, are always there to help you. Like for example, a couple of times I got stuck on my homework questions, I need some help and it's almost midnight I just sent a message to them through Slack, hoping that somebody's listening. And sure enough, within 20, 30 minutes, I got a response. I can get my uh, challenges resolved. I was very happy with that. Your next level of support is your administrative support. Uh, in my case, uh, we have a student success manager named Brett to provide all the logistics and uh, uh, administrative, an, an administrative support to help us to navigate through the course. Uh, I have really good interaction with him uh, every time when I needed help, uh, whether it's uh, something like, you know, attendance record to make a correction or uh, asking questions for who to talk to for certain type of questions, like uh, uh, interview questions, so on and so forth. He's always there to help and he always provided resources immediately. Uh, I can see from my perspective, all the staff members from the bootcamp are very eager to help to make this program as successful as possible. And to my surprise, there's another level of support that is among your classmates. Uh, in the last five weeks, I met many, many uh, excellent students from the class. They, are, you know, they have very different backgrounds and different ages, and yet we all share this same passion about programming. So we like to get together from time to time working on the uh, homework together and go to the uh, networking events together. And, and through this, we learn how to be a, a very effective team member because, you know, we all have to help each other out. And uh, to me, that's an added benefits because I think today's, in today's uh, business world, uh, we're looking for effective team members who are collaborative, who are communicative, who are helpful to each other rather than individual geniuses like to sit in their cubicle all day long, won't talk to anybody else, just cold, cold, cold. In the end, I think collaborative environment produce better products and a, a much more efficient way. So let's talk about career services. This is one area I didn't know what to expect. 
before I sign up the course, I vaguely know that they offer some, you know, webinars and whatnot. So I figure it's probably not that valuable. But through the last few weeks, I went through some of the sessions and uh, I actually had a chance to work with a few advisors individually. And now I actually kind of feel like this is actually a very good program they're set up. So what they do is they set up individual coaches, they call profile coach and student success director to work with you on your written things and interview. The written things are resume, cover letter, LinkedIn profile, GitHub pro profile, portfolio, and so on and so forth. And uh, they actually work with you individually. Uh, in my case, I had a technical interview coming up. I need some help. And Mariam uh, just you know, uh, arranged a phone call with me, went over all the uh, things to be aware of. And that, and then she provided some personal uh, experience of hers, try to encourage me to not feel uh, discouraged if I, you know, bomb the uh, the interview because she said that would take multiple practices before I get good at it. And that actually gave me a lot of good um, confidence and advice so that I can go into the uh, interview feeling prepared. Uh, so this service is actually very valuable, helpful. Uh, I'm actually pleasant surprise. Another pleasant surprise I had is the ability to network and gain friendship among my classmates. And in the last five weeks, I met many good friends, good people, and several of us formed a study group and we just built this rapport among us. And that was just a wonderful experience for me. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful for setting up this class just for this alone. And here is my final thought. Overall, it's a good experience. I'm sure there are moments of frustration and there are things that are, you know, could improve a little bit here and there. But I think overall, the staff and the students are all working really hard towards success. And uh, this is my first five weeks and there are still, you know, 20 weeks to go. And uh, we will have another review in the next few weeks when I go through my first big, large group project and see how that goes but I have every reason to believe that's gonna be another great experience. And thank you for watching.